on guys today i'm going to show you how to get an um, adventure map a custom map or any map of your choice that you download so start a new world name it whatever you want and i'm gonna name this one random map um it's pretty great it doesn't really matter because none of it's going to be there so let's let the world load up a little bit move a little bit creeper and yeah mm -hmm. Okay, it's done. So you can just go out, double tap, and just get Minecraft.io multitasking bar. No, not going to the App Store. Going to Safari. I use Minecraft forums. That's what I use to get some of my mods and um my maps. So first, you go click on forums right up there. And then, I slide away to load. And then you scroll down until you see Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is right there. And then you click on Maps, see MCPE Maps right there. You click on that, and it will bring you to a page with like a whole bunch of maps that people submitted. So let's just load that up. A little bit, bit. So, okay. So let's uh, let's get this one right here. This first one. No, there we go. So we open it, and you should. There should be a download thing in there. Unless it's like a work in progress or something. I'm downloading the Blaze Boss. Okay, right here there's a download link. You just click on it. Then it should bring you to a download link. Of like Mediafire or something. I don't know where this is taking me. So... So wait for this to load. Load. Okay. Let's just do a another map. Because that map's kind of weird. Let's go to um Pirate Grotto. So that looks like a pretty cool map. So, click on it, man. Okay. It looks pretty good, so we're gonna download this. And there it is. So, let's click on it. Then it should be a Mediafire Dropbox link. And then, you should have Safari Download Manager or like Media, media something. Or like one of those apps in the app store that lets you download stuff. So I use Safari Download Manager because I, cause I'm jailbroken and I can. <laughs> so I'll we'll just go click the download button and it should bring you to a download page. Just click download. You go into here. You click. Oh no, that's Fox. Right there, Pirate Grotto. You click on open in. You should go to iFile and then just wait till it loads up right here. There, boom. See right there? You click on Unarchiver and it should take like a, a cup a little bit. Then you scroll up until you see the map that you got. So it, says, it should say Pirate Grotto in a folder. You open that. And then you copy, you only copy the DB and the level dot that. You copy link, copy and link. So and then you go to the applications. You go down to your Minecraft. You click on documents, games, mojang dot com dot mojang, Minecraft worlds, and you find the world that you made. I have a lot of worlds. <laughs> So right, it's right there. So you click edit, paste, and overwrite all, and you're almost done. So 
Then you click the like the eye thing right there, the eye with the circle in it. You click on it. Nope. You click on the eye right there, and it should bring you to this thing. You click on, and it sh it says root. You click on if it says root, change it to mobile. And if it already says mobile, mobile, don't change it. So let's go down here, mobile, and you're basically done. We can just exit out, go back into our Minecraft, and yeah, let's just open up Movie Creeper, Zoom. and then there it is, Pirates Grotto, Grotto, yeah. So wait for the world to load, and boom! Hope you guys enjoyed, and I might be doing this map because it looks pretty fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the Wait, outro, I'm not done!